Hey, what's up? I just wanted to uh, kind of give you guys an explanation on why I didn't get any footage last night at the old cemetery in Tarpio. So basically, us three got out there. Um, we got out of the car and we were literally walking around the cemetery for like 30 minutes before my K2 meter started pinging all the way up to like 20 milligals or whatever. Um, and then like after that, it like we could literally feel stuff following us and like it was mean. It wasn't like a good spirit from what from what I've encountered so far. It was evil and fucking gross and just bad, bad energy. Um, so we were only there for a few minutes. I uh, took some pictures and I'm going to upload it to Instagram of some cool orbs and just some like weird unexplained shit. Uh, so I hope you guys are understanding about that. I didn't want to put myself into a sticky situation with, like, some sort of demonic force that I was literally not prepared for. Um, so yeah, that's that. There's going to be a video, or, yeah, a video of Garnet and pictures of the cemetery coming up to you within, like, the next week or so. What's up, guys? Uh, we are here tonight for part two of our investigation. Tonight we are going to be at Garnet Ghost Town in Montana. Uh, this place is super cool. It's an old mining town. Supposedly the warden haunts this place. Uh, I haven't really figured out where yet. My freaking tingly sensations haven't been popping up as much as they usually do. Um, but the vibe's totally different at nighttime. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm joined tonight with my little brother Dagan. He's just off to the corner there. And then Rob's working the camera. I'm honestly really excited. This is going to be super cool. You know, the people that we have seen so far, unlike Burke, Idaho... Fuck Burke, Idaho. Um, they're really nice, you know, really freaking friendly and just like happy. So, hell yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys tonight. It'll be dark, it'll be late. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. I'm excited. Thank you guys. We're currently on our way down to the ghost town. As you can see, it is literally pitch fucking black out here. I'll turn off the light just so you guys can see. Can't see a damn thing. So, <laughs> this oh, man, that that light in the distance. we'll uh, check back in once we get down to the town. Hopefully we don't get eaten by a bear. I doubt we'll get eaten by a bear, to be honest, but... <clears throat> well, we're out at, we're out at the ghost town. So you can see it's very, very dark. Um, it's very freaking spooky here, too. That's, that's Dagan right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Rob. Um, yeah, this place is fucking spooky. I guess we're going to start off the investigation by doing a quick spirit box session. Uh, since we're in the middle of the woods, we shouldn't be getting any any radio feedback or anything like that. Zero phone reception. Zero phone. Yeah. Zero phone reception. So, here we go. Say anything to us? Just using the, uh, the K2 oh, EMF detector and my SB11 spirit box. We're walking down Main Street right now, off to the right here. There's one of the old cabins. Definitely already getting voices out of the spirit box. Getting fucking goosebumps too right here. I'm gonna back off a little bit. There we go. Cabins that you can rent out, I'm pretty sure, right there. They lock it. Yeah, I know.
Is there anybody still attached to this old bar? I'm not liking the feeling right here. Is there Ooh. any way you can come forward and say hello to me? I'm getting really, really weird vibes from that place. Uh, fucking stay. Oh. You can barely see that over there. It just looks like a faded image. <laughs> That's fucking cool. <laughs> oh, fuck. Visitor Center is a big old pad. Yeah, they're fucking, they're hmm. fucking goosebumps. Okay. Hello? Okay. You're good. Um, is there any way you can come forward and communicate with us? Oh, wow. Holy fuck. Chills, hair standing up on end, dude. Or what little hair I have, anyways. <laughs> Turning off the spirit box just so we can hear. I definitely heard something behind us. So we're walking around out here. We haven't really even made it very far into the ghost town. And I just heard something and like even thinking about it, it's making me feel all weird. Something just walked up to me and went like, ah. and neither of those two heard it, which makes yeah. me fucking worried. I have goosebumps, full body goosebumps right now. Um, right now we're gonna walk up to the old jail cell and just hope that there's no fucking animals out here. As long as we keep talking and making noise, bear's not gonna really bother us unless it's hungry. Is this where the jail cell is? It's up further. Yeah. Uh, up that way. Oh yeah. Yeah, up this way. Yeah, this is that little valley. Cell. Yeah, this is the dance hall. Yeah. Yeah, this uh -huh. is dance hall. Yeah, this is right over here is where the old dance hall was. <clears throat> I heard movement up here, boys. Might have been Harper's hatchet clinking. No. There's something right up over there. Oh, bear. 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 And this building right here is the old jail cell. The old jail, one cell jail. Yeah. <laughs> one cell jail. <laughs> Man. I don't like hearing a little twig snap in the middle of the night. Not at all. That was uncomfy. Pitch black. God damn it. Having trouble, guys. Don't judge me. Are you still recording? Yeah. Now I'm recording. Man, we keep hearing stuff like no joke. Like no joke. Is 
I got really intense goosebumps actually. Look at that, hair's fucking going up on my arms, dude. If there's anybody in here, can you come forward and talk to me? It's light. Yeah. If there's anyone back here, can you come forth? Reach your hand out and touch mine. I'm not even sure what to think about this. I'm like, I'm starting to feel like all panicky and like my stomach's kind of starting to feel like it's being twisted a little bit. Whoa, turn me. Do you have anything in your pocket that's on right now? Mm -hmm. I just got my cigarettes and my car keys in my pocket. Why? Move your right hand, or left hand. Dagan. Yeah. Come here. <clears throat> no, come here. Yeah. Lift up your left arm again. Look at his pocket. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I screenshot it. What is that? The only things in my pocket. Oh, okay. Oh, oh man. Okay. Wow. I honestly... See yeah. I'm like... I feel, like, petrified almost. Like, I do not want to go any farther. And I, like, I'm at, like, to the point where, like, I don't know if we should keep going or if we should go back up to the car. Um, it's just... I don't know if it's just because this is technically a state park that we're in. <laughs> it is closed, but... <laughs> Well, there were no... Yeah, I mean, there, were, there are no signs around there. Yeah, there's zero no trespassing signs, zero no overnight parking signs, zero... Whoa. Whoa. There was a fucking woman scream that just came out of here. Hello? Holy fuck, dude. There's the goosebumps. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Can you just document that? Hello, ma'am. Holy shit, dude, it's just like keep, it just fucking keep getting worse, dude. Where are you? Help! Dude. Holy shit. That was like a little kid's voice that literally just said help. It was like, help! Oh. Holy shit, I'm gonna dude. Back up a little bit. There, there's the fucking goosebumps again, dude. That's like unmistakable. Like, holy shit. Oh, what did I get myself into? Yeah, I. I've got to say, Garnet Ghost Town is scarier than shit at night. During the daytime, it's peaceful out here. It's beautiful, man. That place wasn't open before. Yeah, it was. It's the blacksmith. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Hello? That wasn't in here before. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. It was just like goodbye. Maybe the blacksmith just said goodbye to us. What's up? I don't know. But something's telling me there's something inside of this. Besides sables?
Hello? Could you come forward and speak to us, please? Hi. It was just like, hi. Hello, can you tell me your name? How old were you? I'm not really getting anything on the spirit box. I'm going to start an, uh, an, EVP, an EVP session. Now that there's actually nobody out here, I'll be able to do it. <laughs> Hold on one second. There's that building we wanted to get into. You want to shine your, uh, your camera in there with the flash? Yeah. So it's quite possibly. Uh, oh, yeah. The more you remember. Right. I can't fucking see in there. Hold your window or thing up to the window. Not even really so much ghost hunting right now as we are just walking around. Yeah, like no joke, my body's going into like fight mode. Like I feel like Something really rough happened on this road. <laughs> Had to have with the fucking hotel and the saloon and the same shit. Had to be. Someone's talking shit right out of the top, top, top window. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, six shooter. Alright, I think we might end the video for, for now. Um, I don't know, dude. We haven't really gotten any fucking evidence at all other than like the goosebumps and shit. A few voices. A few voices. A few voices and vibes. Yeah, I'm uh... I'm like almost not down to be here anymore. Yeah, I'm in that same boat. I just saw someone fucking walking over there. It was a fucking woman in a dress. I fucking shit you not. Walking right behind that fucking building, dude. It was like a white, a white sh fucking mist shadow thing that went like. Whoosh. Holy fuck, dude. Fucking can't really tell if I have goose nips right now or not. Yeah. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Was that you that I just saw walking over there? That was a good bur fucking butt snort, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, if you want us to leave, can you give us a sign? If there's any reason for us to leave, can someone please give us a sign?
upstairs. Yeah. Who's upstairs? Alright, <clears throat> I think we might start getting the hell out of here. Um, the vibe is very, very bad out here. Uh, poor, poor old Rob's over there is fucking getting full body chills. We just, the energy's bad, man. I'm still gonna take a few more pictures and stuff on the way out, just to, to try and validate all the feelings that we're having out here. Um, you know, we can hear shit walking. I just saw a lady, I'm pretty sure it was a lady, that's what she reminded me of. But just back, back there. It's like this is a whole ass different vibe. Like if you guys want to come out for a scare, man, I'd recommend coming out here. But bring some friends because we are in the middle of the woods. Middle of the woods, wilderness. Well, yeah. Like where? How many miles? Yeah, six miles. I think we're eleven miles, my dudes. Well, yeah, but the, like, main road, the back here is, like, seven miles. I literally just saw something hop in the water. It looks like a frog, but... Oh, uh, I just want to go. Oh, oh yeah, it's a toad. No, it's a field mouse. Oh, yeah, it's a little field mouse. Okay. <clears throat> I was about to say, that's quick. All right. I wanted to say thank you guys for coming on this journey with us. Um, I have to apologize that it was really short. Uh, I honestly feel like our safety might be at stake out here. Um, and not just because of spirits and shit like that, but because of the fucking apex predators of the mountains. Um, yeah, uh, this whole place is crazy. The feeling just on the main street, we didn't even go up into the old houses and stuff. This whole, whole place at nighttime is freaking terrible. Um, and as far as, like, evidence goes, like, I got some shit on, I got some shit, I guess. Uh, it's just more of a feeling that you'd have to be here to really experience and to be able to... Im All right, it's fucking time to go.